All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about published dates and updated dates for your WordPress post. And then we're gonna dive into how to actually show those dates on your post. And I'll show you how to do that using Cadence. So we've been seeing this question an awful lot here at Restore 316, and I guess it's just something a lot of people want to know how it works, and they wanna know how to display it on their post. So we're gonna cover all of that. So let's talk first about how this actually works. So you have a published date. Now your published date is when you create a post, you write it, and then you click the blue little publish button at the top. So no matter what, when you hit that publish button originally is going to remain as your published date. That's your original published date and time. You can change that in the post. If you do a quick edit on a post, you can go in there and change the date and time, and that would actually update the published time and date. Um, but then you've got your updated time and date, and that comes from when you have a published post already, and you go into that post and you make an update of any kind. It doesn't matter how big or small that update is. As soon as you click on update at the very top, that now becomes your updated date. So there's no way to differentiate whether you know that updated date is shown e even if you just went in and just changed a period to an exclamation mark, right? I know a lot of you are like, well, I want it to only show updated if I make a big change to the post. So there's no way to differentiate that. Um, so I guess with that said, you just have to make sure everything is squared away before you hit that update button. And then that is what is going to show on the post if you have it set to show. So we're going to dive in now to show you how to add that to your post using Cadence. All right. So from your WordPress dashboard, you're going to go to appearance and customize. We want to go directly into the customizer in order to add this feature into our post. Now, what I like to do is here on the right side of my screen, I like to pull up a single post so that I can see what changes I'm making and how they appear on my site. So I'm just going to go to the blog and I'm going to click into a single blog post just so I can see what we're working with. Now, when we are dealing with a post, we've got several things up at the top of that post. And in this case, we have a breadcrumb here at the top. We have our category showing, we have our post title, and then we have our post meta. The post meta, this area right here, is going to be the thing that we need to edit in order to add in our published date and our updated date. And so you can see here, we have our published date, but we need a way to differentiate the two. So we're gonna go to post pages layout and we're gonna go to single post layout and I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit into this area right here where it says title elements. You see here, this is all the four things that I just mentioned and all of the eyes are on. So this just means that they're all being shown currently on the site. Now all of these ones with the little arrows next to them indicate that we can drop them down and it has additional options of things we can show or not show. So you can see here we have show date on and then we have a label. So in this case, if we're adding an updated date, we are going to want to show a label. That way we can say, this is the date it was actually published on, and then this is the date that it was updated on. So I'm gonna unclick this I so that it will actually show it. And the default is posted on, and you can leave that, or you can type in whatever you want. So you can say published on if you wanted to do that as well. And then you have this option here to show last updated date. And so I'm gonna turn that on. And then you can also turn on this feature, show only if it's different from the published date. So if there's never been an update on a post, you might not want a second date to show up. You only want the published on date to show. So in that case, you would go ahead and enable that. Now in this case, you can see it was published on June or January 2nd of 22, and it was up, updated on November 4th of 24. And so it'll automatically show up even with that uh, selection on there. You can also show the time here. Um, I didn't mention that before, but you can show the time if you needed to. And then on this one, we're going to unclick that eye so it will show up and then we'll um, have updated on. If you wanted it to be anything different other than updating updated on, then you would go ahead and type that in here to the field. So now you can see that we have both the published on and updated on dates directly inside of our blog post. So then I can come up here and just hit publish and that change will automatically take place on my site. 